Yes, people. So I did my poll. <laughs> I did my poll on who's going to win the fight between Logan Paul and uh, Floyd Mayweather. And uh, yeah, I know it's a very small sample. I ain't going to lie. It was a very small sample. But you guys came through and uh, I got some results for you. So the draw. 11% of you guys said it's going to be a draw. And uh, due to the fact that we haven't really been given a lot of information so far about this exhibition match, you know, the terms and conditions haven't been laid out fully to the public, so we don't know exactly how many rounds they're going to have to fight at. We don't know what weight they're going to come in in order to fight. In terms of... Uh, uh, um, legacy uh, Floyd I guess will be fighting for his legacy uh, Logan Paul is just fighting for the YouTube uh, clout now the vast majority of you guys went for Logan Paul to win so obviously there's huge a lot of factors involved here obviously the weight is a huge factor in terms of the fact that Logan comes in at 200 pounds plus that's about 90 kilograms compared to 150 pounds um, for Floyd or 68 kilograms so Floyd is naturally a, a welterweight and Logan Paul at that weight would be classed as a heavyweight so that's one thing in his favor plus Logan Paul is uh, six foot two in terms of height and uh, Floyd Mavers at five foot eight. So that's another thing in his favor. So also the fact that you guys recently saw his brother, Jake Paul, knock out Nate Robinson. And uh, obviously Nate Robinson was much, sorry, Nate Robinson was much smaller than Jake Paul and therefore you logically maybe you're logically putting two and two together and uh coming up with the fact that logan may end up doing the same on paper then that all makes sense you know if you don't look too deep into the stats and other things then i can understand why you would come up with that plus the fact that like i said jake just recently KO'd nate however folks hold it right there yeah kids i saw you 22 percent that said floyd mayweather is gonna win this my view is with the 22 percent that said floyd mayweather is gonna win and this these are my reasons guys these are my reasons floyd has the experience you know he has won 50 fights hasn't lost a single one now logan paul he's he's very he's He's virtually an amateur in this game. He's, he's had one professional fight and he's lost this one professional fight. Now, people are going to say, yeah, but look at the size difference, not only in weight, but also in height and so forth. Okay, so here's, here's my, my, my evidence. Evidence number one. Now, this weekend we saw a fight between Canelo and Smith. Now, Smith, look at the stats here, guys. Smith much taller he's even taller than logan paul he's at six foot three canelo is about the same height as uh as uh, floyd mayweather and guess who won that fight nope the smaller guy won the fight the much smaller guy won the fight canelo won that fight and canelo was beaten by mayweather a couple of years back so evidence number two now, there's no way these guys are going to be fighting at the weight that they were in their last fight. So, Logan fought 200 pounds plus in his last fight. There's no way, no way he's going to be allowed to fight at that weight. So, he's going to have to lose quite a bit of weight to maybe go down to middleweight. So, yes, people, if you don't listen to me at any other point, trust me. Trust me on this one. There is no way... There is no way that Floyd is going to be losing that fight. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. I'm out.